Welcome to the summary of section two of how to win friends and influence people. The only book you need to lead you to success by Dale Carnegie. We've been going over this in our podcast and lives for the several last several weeks. And there is six ways to make people like you. I wish more people would like this because there's lots of ways uh, I don't like people. So uh, here's six ways to make people like you. Number one, be genuinely interested in them. That means be interested in other people. When you go to talk to other people, don't just talk about yourself. When I go talk to other people, I can't just talk about my dog Groot who's amazing. I could talk about Marvel with Groot. I could talk about boxers with Groot. I could talk about dogs that are crazy with Groot. I could talk about my business, Edge. I could talk about empowering people, developing people, growing people, and educating people. But I don't because they don't care. What they care about is themselves. So you have to be genuinely interested in other human beings. Number two, smile. I remember when I used to be a salesman when I was a young kid. I wasn't a very happy person then. And I would walk around like this. I remember people would come up to me and be like, smile, where's your smile? And I'd be like, mm, whatever you. Uh, it wasn't a way to win friends and influence people. So I've learned to smile over the years. I remember I used to say, I don't want to get wrinkles. Now, I don't really care because it shows that I am happy. I was recently at a conference and at this conference, I would look around at people and they would be, if this is the way you sit and you're unhappy with the way that you're sitting or something like that, you're always going to be unhappy. If you want more, you have to give more. So give a smile to someone. So I'd walk by people, I'd smile. It's a free gift. I could get them every single day and I'd see more and more people smile. It is so important to learn to smile and enjoy conversations. And it shows that you enjoy other people when you smile. Principle number three, remember the person's name. It's the sweetest, most important thing to their ears. It is that sound in any language that people really look for. I remember this one guy that was at uh, business networking that I used to go to. Yeah, that's B and I. Stinks. Uh, I used to go and his name was Ian. His name has been made up to protect the innocent. No, not really. His name was really Ian. And I would go in all the time. I was the president of the BNI. So I would have to stand up several times during the meeting and go, my name is Christy Ogle. I'm with blah, 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 blah. And uh, tell me who you are. Go around the room. I'm Christy Ogle and stand up. Tell me, give me your 60 seconds for the business. My name over and over and over again. Did I mention I had a name tag on that said, I am Christy. <laughs> But Ian couldn't read it. Every time I would go to this meeting, he'd say, hi, Cindy. Ian, my name is not Cindy. It is Christy. Every time. My name's Christy. My name's Christy. After about six weeks of this, I was really kind of annoyed. I didn't really want to talk about friendships or anything like that with this man. I didn't even want to say hi because I just thought it was really rude of him to call me by the wrong name. Maybe that's what he really wanted. So one day I decided to call him Liam. So give him a taste of his own medicine. So I went in and he goes, hey, Cindy. And I was like, hi, Liam, how are you? And he goes, my name's Ian. I said, I know, but you call me Cindy every week when you know my name is Christy. And uh, so I decided to just start calling you Liam. He never called me Cindy again. He called me Christy from then on because that is the sweetest sound to anyone's ears is their own name. One thing that you can do is uh, when you're talking to somebody, you're looking them in the eye, you're shaking their hand. Uh, you can repeat their name in your mind six times. This way you'll never forget their name. Shaking somebody's hand. Renee, 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 Renee. You'll never forget Renee's face or her name. And that name is so precious to people. Principle number four, 
Be a good listener. Encourage other people to talk about themselves. I remember when I was early in business, I wanted to tell them all about my business and vomit. Blah. My business all over them. Nobody wants vomited on. Remember that. Nobody wants your business vomited all over them. They don't want your personal problems vomited all over them. They don't want your issues vomited all over them. So be a good listener and talk about the other people. In 2021, how can you learn about other people before you take a business meeting with them? Look them up on social media. Before you go to that networking meeting, look up the president, vice president, secretary on social media and find out about them or somebody else that you want to connect with them and do business with. If you are in a roofing business and you need somebody that's a contractor to come along and hook up with you in business and network with, look them up on social media before you go to that networking meeting and talk to them about the things that they might be interested in or ask open-ended questions and then keep the conversation going from there. Principle number five, always take interest in other people. An interest in other people. So that means find out what they're interested in and talk to them about that. If you're in a business networking meeting, ask them how they got in business because that business is their baby. You want to know more about them, ask more listen more than you talk. And principle number six, make the other person feel important and do it sincerely. So don't make it insincere at all. I remember that my Angelou said, let's see if I can not mess it up this time, uh, that when you meet other people, they remember how you make them feel. So make them feel good good about themselves. So this was the six principles of section two of how to win friends and influence people. The only book you need for success to lead you there by Dale Carnegie. In a nutshell, here's the six ways to make people like you. Number one, be genuinely interested in people. Number two, smile. Number three, remember the other person's names. It is like sweet sound to their ears. Principle number four, be a good listener. Encourage them to talk about themselves, not you dominating the talking. Principle number five, talk in other people's interests in their terms. And principle number six, make the other person feel important and do it sincerely. Next week, we will be talking about part three and how to win friends and influence people. How to win people to your way of thinking. I'm Christy Ogle with The Edge. How can you get The Edge? To empower, develop, grow, and educate yourself and dominate your industry, you get the edge over the competition. Join us on Thursdays at Pinewood Coffee Bar, 2223 Austin Avenue in Waco, Texas, or follow us online. Coming soon is Mark McMarketing 101.